Greetings, welcome to this tutorial on setting up your iPad to be able to uh, make sure that you can sync your content back and forth with your laptop or with the cloud. And so I'm going to go through this in a couple different parts. One is going to be how to interact with your computer, your desktop uh, on a Windows machine. And then the other one is going to be how to use a, uh, an iCloud account in order to save files and whatnot. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to hook up an iPad here, and I've got one next to me. You probably can't see it on screen, obviously, but when I do hook it up, I get a notification, and it automatically opens up iTunes. Now, if it doesn't open up iTunes for you automatically, make sure you go down to the Start button and find iTunes in your All Programs. So here we've got an autoplay message that pops up, and I've got all sorts of all sorts of stuff popping up here. First thing I want to take a look at is um, in iTunes. I'm going to take a look at shutting this off. I'm not going to back up my iPad. And you're like, I thought that's what this is about. Yes and no. We're going to save our information inherently with the constraints through the mobile device management that we have on the iPads. You're not able to restore from a back you can you can back up your iPad but you can't restore from a backup from what I was told so we're going to close this out and I'm gonna hit OK and then the next item I wanted to uh, it looks, it looks like it was already syncing in the background and we'll we'll take a look at that in just a second I want to make sure that I import pictures and videos and then you can open the device to also view files so I'm gonna click on as I click on this and we've got the internal storage and uh, any pictures and videos that I've taken I could easily highlight and drag them to wherever so if I want it uh, on a folder on my desktop or if I want this on my my pictures folder or my my videos folder you could do that so that's probably an easiest part on how to back up files from one thing to the other before uh, let's say an iPad gets wiped or replaced so I'm gonna close that out I'm not gonna go too much further into detail other than you know it's a simple click and drag you click it and you drag that to that location and you are able to do what you need to do going back into iTunes on the Windows side I'm gonna take a look at my iPad now coming in here I've got uh, my albums artists songs music videos everything else but um, I click on device, and I can take a look at what's on the device. If I want to sync the device, I'm going to click up here. And here I've got an iPad Air 2. It tells me what the battery is. tells me what apps I've got installed on here. And then any music that I've got. Now, just so I can have a, a plethora of different items to show on here, I've got items that I've downloaded from the cloud. So I've got songs in here that, uh, like my Barbie collection, which is great. Uh, you can tell I've got girls at home. So you've got Barbie that I can click and download from the cloud. Uh, princesses just want to have fun. Here we go. Sounds like a fun song. I know all the words. And then also, I want to take a look at recently added. And here's a Keith Urban album that uh, I put in so let's say you've got like a uh, kindergarten teachers have like Dr. Gene albums or um, any audio CDs that you might have uh, if you're a music teacher you still have those probably on your computer and they're loaded into your machine you can push these back out to your iPad so here I've got uh, this album that I put the CD in I ripped a couple songs so I, re uh, I converted them to an mp3 file and then I'm gonna go into my iPad, click on my music, and if I want to sync that music, I can do the entire music library, which I'm not going to do, or selected playlists, albums, and genres. And so here I can go in and do, let's just do Keith Urban. That was the, the album that I had uh, ripped from an actual CD. And then the rest of this content, these are artists that, uh, or songs and artists that I've downloaded. Um, from iTunes so that's in my iTunes library so you can have a mix of both same thing if I've got pictures that are on my computer then I can sync them and do selected folders and I can put in all sorts of uh, selected picture and video files 
you can also choose folder if you wanted to get uh, granular and specific on what pictures you want on your on your device. So that's going to cover this portion of this. When I'm when I'm all said and done, I'm going to click on apply, and it's going to push that content. I'm not going to I'm not going to do a backup. And it's going to sync those items to my device. So it pretty much covers this. The next stop we're going to go is onto the iPad and take a look at how to take care of some of the content that I've got on my iPad and get it uh, in the cloud or get it backed up safely. So if it does get wiped, then I'll be good. So thanks for watching this portion, and we'll see you in just a second. So here we've got the iPad that we just synced up. And with that, we're going to take a look at, let's go into music. I'm going to click on music down below in the bottom right. And here I've got all the songs that are on the iPad. Now, if I take a look at, let's see, as we scroll through, there's the princesses just want to have fun. You can see that there's no cloud emblem next to that, and meaning that it's locally uh, stored on the device. It's, it's physically on the device, uh, stored in the, uh, in the memory. To whereas, if I've got the cloud with the uh, down arrow, it means that it's out in the cloud, and it's a purchase item from iTunes that I can download it from the cloud. So it's a, it's a nice feature to have. Let's scroll down. Where's my Keith Urban? I'm gonna scrub down to the bottom here. So there's all my Keith Urban songs that I just uh, downloaded, or, or I should say synced up from my computer to my iPad. And you notice that those also do not have little cloud emblems from there. So what about other like documents and things that are on the, uh, the iPad itself? Let's take a look at photos. Here are all the photos that I've got on the uh, iPad itself. I didn't sync any with my iPad, but if I wanted to push them out uh, to store them out in the cloud or whatnot, uh, here with, especially with the videos, I could send these out via... So I want to take this video and I want to send it out to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to hit that and click on the Send To button. And here I can click on the YouTube link and push it out to my YouTube channel. Now every person in K-12 has a YouTube channel, believe it or not. So, And if you need some assistance with that, I've got videos and tutorials, or I'd be happy to personally come and help you with that uh, on how to set that up. Let's take a look at other options that we've got. Let's say I don't want to put it out on a YouTube channel. That's fine. Some options, I'm going to go to the App Store here, and I'm going to click on Purchase because I know that I already have purchased these items. Uh, if not, you can go into uh, Featured and look for things like Google Drive. So here's Google Drive, and I can, I've can i already got that installed on this device, so I can hit Open and push that out. So let's go back into our... Photos app and select that. And I want to send to, well, there's Google Drive right there. I can push that out to the cloud in a Google Drive folder, which subsequently you could use for like Google Classroom or, or just for storage. So let's go back into the App Store. And let's take a look at uh, already purchased. So I'm going to click on purchased items down at the bottom and I'm going to look at uh, all. And I can do a search for all the purchase items that I have, and let's go to Microsoft OneDrive. There's another option that you've got. Oops, not OneNote. My apologies. Let's do OneDrive. And with that, I can also pull this down from the cloud. So any apps that you probably have, if you purchased under a different account, you can always log back into that account and re-download those apps. Um, and you can do that with multiple different, if I have two different accounts, one for school and one for personal, you can log into two different accounts, uh, obviously at two different times, and pull the apps that you need. If it needs updates, you will need to authenticate uh, with the username and password that originally purchased that, uh, that app. So here I've got OneDrive open. It's downloaded and I'm going to open it. And here I can put in my, my school account for K-12. After I've done that, I can once again uh, push content. Let's go uh, use this as another example. 
I'm going to select, let's select a uh, screen, oh no, that's a video. Uh, if I had OneNote in the, there's OneDrive, I'm going to turn that on. If I don't see it in my list, and there's OneDrive. And since I'm not logged in, it will prompt me to log in and go from there. So with that, there's a lot of opportunity to uh, save files that are currently on your device. Uh, unfortunately, some of your settings are going to probably uh, maybe be lost. Uh, but there are options that if you have projects or data saved in certain items that you can push that uh, to either an email backup. Um, I know like I've got a mileage app that lets me uh, email myself a copy of the, uh, the mileage data that I have and then I can restore that from that backup. So um, this concludes that for this uh, lesson. I know it's kind of gotten a little bit long but Thank you for watching and have a great day.